Hey church, I hope this devotional video finds you well. I am Hannah and I am a member of the media team here at Audacious. Uh, it's good to have you with us this morning. Thanks once again for taking some time today to hear from God, to set some time aside, get inspired and stay the course. That is what it's all about. This Christian life is not easy, um, but we need good people around us. And so I hope you've been enjoying the relationship series that we've been doing on the devotionals. Um, here is a short, but hopefully helpful, little thought for the day from me. Um, my mum once told me that you only have time in your adult life to maintain a handful of good friendships. And I thought she was nuts. <laughs> I thought, you know, I had youth on my side and I had plenty of friends and not enough time to see all the friends I had. And I just thought, there's no way that's ever going to be me. There's no way I'm ever going to only going to have two or three good friends that I can... Um, that I can carry throughout my life. But you know what? The old lady was right. <laughs> As usual. Um, adulthood is a different ball game when it comes to relationships, isn't it? And um, as a, a member of a large church family, and as a Christian in general, it is the life-giving relationships that have helped me stay the course. It's maintaining those relationships. It's finding them in the first place. That has been the key not just a key, but the key um, to me seeing growth in my faith, in my life, um, and also helping me navigate the highs and lows of adult life. People helping me make absolutely vital decisions, clear godly decisions, and um, people that I've been able to share my life with. So I am a if you've ever seen my devotionals before, you'll know I'm just all about practical hints and tips because we can be guilty in church of saying, you need these people around you, go out and make friends. And you might say, how? I, I'm trying, I'm trying my best. Um, so here are my three personal, you know, these are just from personal experience three key things in my um, in my time at Audacious Church that have helped me forge proper, good, long-term, godly, important relationships. Uh, we're going to rattle through this. We don't have long together today. Um, so if there's a verse that sticks out, please rewind this video, make a note, write them out, get them into your heart, get them into your life and make them make a difference. Um, three things. Team. I'm going to sound like a walking advert now for being on teams and for being in small groups, but there is a reason for that. People in your team are there to have fun with. It's that behind the scenes fun, that late night, you know, you've just finished a service or an event and, you know, you're all feeling a bit tired. And it's just those memories that you make with people on your team. Also, people on team are proving themselves to be reliable. Um, Proverbs 18.24 says... One who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin. People who commit and consistently turn up on a team for church are showing you that they're a reliable person. Um, they're likely to also be someone who's like-minded. I made some of my best friends on the AV and production teams at church. People who I'm, you know, have been my bridesmaids so close to now. And I just think, um, go for a team that is something that you're passionate about something that you love to do, something that you're interested in. Those people on that team are likely to be like you, have it loads in common with you, and they're also proving themselves, as we uh, read about in Proverbs, to be reliable. Good. Small groups. People in your small groups are there for the good and the bad, the highs and the lows. And the great thing about small groups is that these people aren't necessarily going to be people that are exactly like you. They might just be the people that live near you or people that are in a similar stage of life to you. Um, Proverbs 17, 17 says, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Your brothers and sisters in Christ are there for times of adversity and that's okay. Um, Job 2.11 also says um, when Job's three friends, Job having a terrible time, <laughs> to put it mildly, when his friends heard about all the trouble that had come upon him, they set out from their homes and met together by agreement to go and sympathise with him and comfort him. 
if that's not a picture of small groups, I mean, the amount of times I have either been helped or have been a helper to somebody who needs comforting, needs sympathy, needs help in times of adversity. Be in a small group, it is vital. You don't have to be best mates with everyone all the time. And like I said, two or three key relationships as an adult, that's maybe all we have time to maintain. I heard it recently said, um, you have friends for a reason, friends for a season and friends for life. It's okay if those people in your life groups, you know, life groups can be transient. You know, you can be in one for a couple of years and people can come and go. It's okay to have friends for a season and, um, and for those relationships to still be life-giving and vital to you at that time in your life. Third thing, <laughs> told you I was rattling through hospitality this has been key for me 1 peter 4 8 10 8 to 10 above all love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins offer hospitality to one another without grumbling i.e without grumbling that you never get invited this is tricky and i think um hospitality comes more easily to some than it does others but if you're already on a team and you're already in a small group and you're saying i still don't have any friends i still don't have these life-giving deep connections you know relationships with people practice hospitality if you are shy just ask one person to go for a coffee with you after church if you're not shy open up your home um, go out of your way, start to just make yourself available, make your home an open, safe, fun place for people to be. Um, practice hospitality just in the way that you are with people. Um, we can't go into that now, but the Bible is full of people that make, you know, people who are great examples of um, of making themselves a hospitable, safe place for other people, whether that is um, one person, many people. It's hard, but it's worth it. The payoff is worth it. And God doesn't call us to do this life by ourselves. You know, we read about iron sharpening iron. I could not tell you where I would be in my faith or otherwise if I didn't have good, godly, you know, inspiring friends. Um, and I don't have loads and loads. And I can't even, I'm a mum now, so I don't even have time to keep up with the two or three good friends that I do have. But we all need a, a person around us. We all need people around us to, to help us, to cheer us on and uh, to be on our side, to be on our team. We need cheerleaders. We need friends. I hope that's inspired you. Sorry it was quick. Go back through, read the verses and um, yeah. <laughs> we love you, church. We're so glad that you tune into these every single day. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.